Hey guys, Johnny here from PC New, coming at you with another great tutorial. What we're going to be doing today is recreating this nice ice, this cool icy text effect in Photoshop. This thing is, a, I use this time and time again. It's great to throw up maybe at the beginning of an animation or if you have a class video project, throw that up at the title screen with just your, your group name or whatever, or maybe throw it on a poster. I just find unlimited uses for it. And it's just really cool looking too. So yeah. This is just, basically before I get into it, I just want to say, I know that there's a couple other videos that give this kind of tutorial, but this, the way that we're doing it is way, like, it's more deep, it's more complex, there's more effects, but we still keep it simple. Me and my friend have worked on this effect for a while, and we think we found the perfect blend of simplicity and awesomeness. Like, if you look closely, you'll see it actually looks like it's covered in snowiness, and it's actually unbelievably easy to do. It's not going to take any skill whatsoever. It's a really basic Photoshop tutorial, and yeah. So let's do it. Just go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to name mine Icy. Let's hit OK. So first things first, we're going to want to make the text itself. To do that, just get the text tool, click anywhere, and write in your text. I'm just going to write in PC and U. You can write in whatever you want. Make it as long as you want, as short as you want. Doesn't, it's not limited to a certain amount of words or anything. Just make sure it fits. So yeah, once you got that, next thing we're going to do is go to Filter, and we're going to go to Noise, and we're going to go to Add Noise. So now I'm just going to ask you to rasterize it. If you didn't know this before, here's a little tidbit. Rasterizing is basically changing it from a text format into an image format. It makes it so that you, it's no longer a text bar, it's actually like an editable picture. This is basically so you can add effects and all that stuff to your text after you're done. So before you rasterize it, make sure you have what you want typed, because you're not going to be able to edit it later. So just go ahead and click OK when you got what you typed. And we're going to set the amount to 130%. I have everything preset because I just made it when I was making this one, so everything is set for some reason for me. So yeah, once you're done that, we're gonna. Oh, I forgot to. So yeah, hit, we're gonna morph, not morph, but um, hit Control E, and it's basically what it's just gonna do is combine the background layer and the first layer. This isn't really that mandatory. It's just I find it a lot easier to work with because it. It's hard to explain. It's just something I do. So yeah, next we're gonna go filter pixelate and we're gonna go to crystallize so yeah once we're here we're gonna set the cell size to 3 and just hit OK after that another filter go to filter um, stylize and find edges so this basically just gives it a little boldness makes it stand out and you'll see this just really helps it look cool later so after that the next thing is filter blur and Gaussian Blur. And we're going to set it to 1.0 pixels if you're on CS4. On CS3, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a bit different. I think when you go to the Blur menu, there's just like one option or something like that. And it opens up a box kind of like this, except longer, and it has kind of a... It has like little radio boxes, or check boxes. You guys don't know Visual Basic, I'm guessing. So, yeah, you just... If, you, if that's the case, I'm not. I can't remember if that's how it is or not. I have this feeling it is. Just hit Gaussian Blur. Just select that one and set it to 1.0 pixels and hit OK. So, I think we're done with our filters now. So we're gonna go to Image, Image Rotation, and 90 degrees clockwise. Again, you CS3 users, I think the interface is different for that. So you might have to look around for that. So once you have that hit control I and it'll just invert the picture for you and now to actually make a drip to do this it's actually a lot simpler than you would think all you have to do is go to filter stylize and go to wind and yeah it's pretty much does it for you make sure that it's set to the method is wind not blast or stagger because those just look like messed up 32 bit pictures no, <laughs> I mean like 4 bit pictures um, and make sure the direction is from the right, unless you rotate it counterclockwise for some reason. And then you're going to want to do it from the left. But make sure it's from the right and wind. And hit OK. So yeah, go ahead and rotate this back. 
and you have yourself some sexy ass text. Now as you can see on my other one, the text is actually just like a cool snowy kind of standout neon color. If you want to do this, which I usually do because it looks decent like that, you're going to want to go to image adjustments and you're going to want to go to hue and saturation. This is really so really simple to use to give your pictures color. Just come down here and check colorize. As you can see, it's no longer just kind of a spectrum of random colors. It's just a solid color. So to change the color, just drag this around until you find the color you want. I think we'll go with purple for this. And as you can see, it's not as bright and neon as the other one was. So to make it brighter, just take the saturation and drag it on up. Just leave the lightness how it is, because as you can see, when you move the lightness, it changes the entire picture as opposed to just the text. So yeah, just get it to the color with hue and saturation, and just hit OK when you're done. And there you go. Now you've got some great text you can throw up in a video, an animation, on your poster, anything really. It is. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my videos. Um, just please rate, comment, and subscribe. Send your videos around. And if you have any ideas for tutorials, just leave, drop a comment, maybe a video response, send me a message, anything. Oh, and by the way, my tutorials are not limited to Photoshop. I can do pretty much any program, any Adobe program, any Flash program, like pretty much anything. It doesn't even have to be a program. I can do tutorials on how to get stuff, how to make is. I can do lots, so just drop me a line and I'll try to make it happen. Thanks, please subscribe and watch more of my videos. See you next time.